Good evening, friends. I made a Facebook video live of a Vesper service that I did more for me tonight than anything else. And I know some people tuned into that. Um, there's always this unsettling news about uh, people that have succumbed to this virus or people who are ill. And I've been spending a lot of time today praying and um, going to Kroger again and running into a few people that I know there that uh, I, I picked up also on the fact that there were very few people there, but people just seem downcast, and I certainly understand why. They've extended this uh, period of great distancing probably through the end of the month of April, and people are perplexed. And uh, so when I left the store, forgive me for touching my nose, as I left the store, I looked up, and I had noticed over these last days, we've had a lot of wind in Michigan, you had these tremendous birds, either crows or, I don't know, but big, black, beautiful wingspans on these birds. And they were just circling and circling and, uh, and, and going up, ascending and then descending and just playing. And uh, I was so moved by that. And I knew that there was a scripture, and uh, I quoted a little bit of it on the Facebook Live, but I wanted to share it more fully here because I think it's a word to me and maybe to all of us from Psalm 55 I love Israel scripture as I've said give ear to my prayer O God and hide not thyself from my supplication attend to me and answer me I am overcome by trouble I am distraught by the noise of the enemy and we know here the enemy is this evil virus because of the oppression of the wicked for they bring trouble upon me, and in anger they cherish enmity against me. My heart is in anguish within me. The terrors of death have fallen upon me. Fear and trembling come upon me, and horror overwhelm me. And I say, oh, that I had wings like a dove. I would fly away and be at rest. Yea, I would wander afar. I would lodge in the wilderness. Selah. I would haste to find me a shelter from the raging wind and tempest. So I'm going to end there with this great reading from Psalm 55. Great, not in the sense of my offering, but great in the sense of God's word to the household of Israel and to all of us who have followed. God's peace and blessing be to each one of us. Stay safe, stay, stay well. God be with you until we meet again.